What's going on guys? Welcome to another AI session. So from our last video, we were able to see how we can make use of some of the most popular AI generative tools in order to come up with this nice video that we made using all those tools out there. Let so, me introduce myself. I'm a digital representation. Hello, Jay. I'm your 3D avatar, and I'm here to help you with your day-to-day -day work. First of all, I believe most of you have seen this video. So this we use we use finished product and DID studio blah 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 in order to come up with this video. So today our main goal for today is to actually you make use of an open source model because most of these um, AI kind of two models are not open source. But we have one that is actually open source called Sad Talker. For those of you who would like to know more, you can go there and then you can just fuck the repo. I already have the repo here. Um, so in order for me to make a customized um, version of um, the animation. So without much ado, let's just take a look at the quick demo of, of this model. And then we'll talk into details how to go about it. How we move through this world defines us just as much as our passion. As long as you're headed towards what moves you, you're on the right path. So as you've seen here, the, the end product is actually good. And the only thing maybe you might need to do is to fine tune the, the quality of the video generated. But the expression and the motion are actually on point. And you just need to input your image. So it takes in an image and then outputs a video and with all the expression, the poses, and also a voice. It takes an audio also. As you can see, this audio, this should be actually be on WAV. It should be in WAV format. So this audio is my own voice, generated, uh, recorded using my phone. And then I just made use of that. So this is a very popular um, model out there. It's good that it's open source because people are learning from it. So I recommend you go there and then you do some reading. And the research paper here, I think we can go through maybe what exactly they're trying to do. So they're saying that the the Sartoka which generate 3D motion coefficients. So the coefficients are the head, the pose and expression. And of a 3D um, motion model from audio and implicitly modulate a novel 3D aware face render for talking head generation. So basically you get the overall idea here. So what they actually did is to, because there are popular models that made use of the, how do you call it, the 2D motion, but this one actually was able to generate 3D motion. And this has been really, really um, helpful. I believe maybe most of these popular applications built on it. So the paper is actually there. You can check in the repo and then you can read on it. And yeah. So today, let's just see how, how I, we, we get to make this simple video here. So basically, if you check the repo inside of the repo, immediately when you fuck the repo, you can just um, upload, for example, you upload inside of the examples folder, all you need to do is to just upload your files. For example, you upload your audio here. This is where you put the audio. So this is the audio. It should be in WAV format. And then you can also apply the image, uh, upload the image. So the image should be here also. And it should be in PNG format, format, sorry. So as you can see here, this is the image that I used in order to, to get the model to generate the video. And the code is actually, the basic demo file is actually um, simple to understand. So the first part, you'll have to um, import all these, um, how do you call it? Your setup, your device, you have to set up your device here. So this does that. And then the next part is to just um, clone the repo, as you can see. I'm cloning from, from the forked repo. So it has my name here. So you need to change this to your name if you, but you have to do that after you've already forked the repo and then you have it like this. 
So you need to do that because you'll have to upload your own files. Otherwise, you just have the, the default files, default video and the default uh, audio. So it's best you, you first have the repo as your own and then you do it. So the next thing that was done here is just, uh, let me see. So that is, yeah. So here you download the model. So all the models are coming directly from the main repo, as you can see here. So you just download the models here. And then the next, the last part will be for you to, to actually take in the, the image and then you generate the image as you can see the image up here, here as an option to select select option so you should see the images you've uploaded in the example folder and then you can set it by default as you can see here i set mine by default so that it will just take exactly the image your own image and after that is done then you just need to to get the audio so it takes the image and then combines that with the audio in order to generate the video. So the, the audio also, as you can see, it's coming from the examples driven audio. You should make sure you put your own audio there. And then after that, I think that's all. The last part is for it to generate the MP4 um, video. And this- How we move through this world defines us just as much as our passion. As long as you're headed towards what moves you, you're on the right path. So this, this is the end, the end um, product of it. And yeah, so it's, it has been really helpful because it has given insight to most of these other um, AI generative AI applications out there, especially the ones where you will have to make use of, let's say a 3D avatar or something. Um, yeah. So you can just go and try this and have fun with it and you can build as much stuff as you would like. Um, thank you. I think that's all for today. See you in the next one.